Hey, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Well, some great advice there. And you can also be reporting not just those incidences, but you can also report your snow totals that you're seeing across the region. Just send it in to the National Weather Service there in Paducah. And uh, hopefully we can start to see some uh, more accumulation out of this. And right now we are tracking a heavier snow band just moving into southern Illinois that's crossing out of southeast Missouri now into our Kentucky counties. Zooming in on that nice dark blue, you can see pretty much Vienna, La Center, Cairo, Route 62. We're seeing I-55 into Sykeston, East Prairie seeing this. Eventually we'll be moving into Bardwell and even Paducah. Eventually Metropolis, you'll be seeing this as well. The winds are gusting a little bit, so we're seeing some blowing snow. And with that, we do have a winter weather advisory now encompassing most and all of our Kentucky counties, all of our southern Illinois counties, parts of our southern southeast Missouri counties and our Tennessee counties there until noon. Even past noon, we are going to be tracking this winter weather. And right now you can see the plows are out there in Poplar Bluff. You can see we just had that snow band go through here. The roads are completely whited out temperatures into those mid 20s all across the board. And we're even feeling even cooler than that. Now I mentioned those plows earlier. Here's a video sent in by Michael A. Bruce. This is out of Johnson City. You can see the plows are going to work and it's starting to pile up. That would make for some fun sledding later on but here's a look now across Jefferson County Chad Michael Miller sends this in the road conditions not doing too good pretty slick out there so take your time when you're out there driving snow covered roads ice under that snow drivers go slow threat checker bar up for that reason for the slick travel this is a one two punch system that we're going to be tracking so later afternoon expect that travel to remain slick Tuesday and Wednesday, we catch a break, at least in the precipitation. And then late week, we are tracking our next chance of a warm up and even some rain. So I mentioned it's a one two punch for the system should primarily be out of the region by at least nine this morning. Temperatures allowed to rise up a little, little bit into those mid 30s. Temperatures should be efficient enough to be still staying snowy as we go into the noon hours, which is when this clipper system will be bringing that cold front cold front bringing in that snow down to the south where temperatures are warmer. We will see a mix and then with that we will see a refreeze into the evening hour. So if you are going out there tonight, yeah, winds will be picking up, but we're also going to be dipping down in those temperatures into at least those mid teens. But we are going to be seeing a warm up, right? Looking over the next few days, at least Tuesday, still pretty cool into those lower 30s. By Wednesday, lower 40s, more chances of sun. And then we bring back the clouds going into Thursday. Temperatures rising into those lower and mid 50s. Quite pleasant, right? Here's our system right there, but here's our next one right here that's going to be bringing us some of that rain and our warmer temperatures. So if you are having New Year's plans, plan on a rather wet weekend and wet New Year, but also plan for a warm one as we're going into the first week of January, January 2nd through January 8th. Most of the United States is above average, and that is some relatively good news, but that could also mean for a rather rainy setup that we could have going on here. But I'll take the rain over some of the snow that we're seeing, although you know what? It's a fluffy kind of snow out there, but you know, we're also seeing some winds, so we're seeing some snow drifts. So again, I have to urge caution if you are out there driving today as we're tracking the snow. It's light, but it's also piling up seeing almost three inches today. So be careful out there. Well, I know for a lot of people today is considered the Christmas holiday. So a lot of people are home from work and school. Yeah. So hopefully if they don't have to get out, like we've been saying, they can just stay cozy inside stay at warm. Stay home. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Emily.